as you know uh, delbeco and uh, uh, claude s rupert uh, they could not uh, explain the chemical basis of uh, uh, the phenomena of uh, photoreactivation the problem of the chemical nature of photoreactivation was resolved over next few years when investigators came to know that uv irradiation induces the formation of cyclobutane pyrimidine dimer in dna before that the scientists they were uh, uh, not aware of uh, uh, this uh, dimer formation they didn't know what happens after uv irradiation in the dna but when they came to know that uh, cyclobutane pyrimidine dimer is formed in the dna and then they uh, came to know the chemical basis of that reverse that uh, uh, photoreactivation further studies showed that the photoreactivation reactivation enzymes reverses the uv induced damage by using the energy provided by blue light and this blue light ranges in wavelength between 350 to 450 nanometer and uh, uh, this energy is used to disrupt the cyclobutane ring you know uh, uh, a ring is formed between two adjacent bases after uv irradiation and uh, during the reversal of this damage this ring is disrupted when it was recognized that the photoreactivation enzyme catalyzes the disruption of carbon carbon bonds it was given a more descriptive name as cyclobutane pyrimidine dimer photolyase so here you can see in this uh, picture this is normal dna and when this is exposed to uv light a dimer is formed here you can see this is a dimer so uh, a dimer is formed and uh, when uh, in the presence of photolyase photolyase enzyme this is cpd photolyase uh, this uh, ring uh, these these bonds these bonds are broken and normal dna is restored so this is uh, the action of uh, photolyase the bacteria that lack cpd photolyase cannot repair cyclobutane pyrimidine lesions through photoreaction thus cannot reverse the uv induced damage in dna because these are cpd lyase photolyase which reverses the damage and if cpd lyase is not present how uh, an organism can reverse this uh, uv induced damage cpd photolyases are present in a wide variety of organisms including bacteria archaea plants and animals but unfortunately these enzymes are not present in humans and other placental mammals that's why if we are exposed to uv light and our dna if our dna is damaged we cannot repair that damage that's why the people which are exposed more to uv light are more prone to uh, cancers there are uh, these uh, cpd photolyases are monomeric proteins uh, and they range in size from about 450 to 550 amino acid residues these enzymes contain 450 to 550 amino acids all cpd photolyases have two domains and these two domains are designated as n terminal domain and c terminal domain a light absorbing pigment or chromophore pigment binds to the to each domain through non covalent interactions so so there are two domains c terminal and n terminal domain and a pigment chromophore pigment binds to each domain so there are two chromophore pigments and they bind to these domains through non covalent interactions this chromophore factor acts as a photo antenna to capture light with wavelengths that would not otherwise be available although the light is available 
but the cells cannot absorb that light and if the light is not absorbed photoreactivation cannot take place so these chromophores they act as photo antenna to receive the light to absorb the light and to transfer that energy to the enzymes